So for the last three years running, I've said the 22M LS Cougar is my number one personal favorite couples camping floor plan. But a lot of people say, yeah, but I don't like that it's not a private bedroom. And I don't like that the toilet's like right in the kitchen. I don't want to crap where I eat. Well, this one fixes all that. Welcome everybody, Josh the RV Nerd with Vicious RV down here with a brand new Cougar floor plan, the 25 MLE. Uh, basically the travel trailer version of the 23 MLE fifth wheel. And it sounds weird that a travel trailer has a bigger model number than a fifth wheel, but it's just the way the measurements and the things work out because you add that extra tongue link so the model number goes up. But this one right here, it's it, it hits a lot of the same notes as a 22 MLS Cougar. This has A plus travel access. Not only can you get to like the kitchen and refrigerator, the bathroom and the bedroom, Room, you can even fully use the dining without ever touching the slide out which is something even a lot of other travel accessible RVs can't do so it goes above and beyond they've bulked up their solar package this year by minimum 10% what used to be 200 400 uh, 600 is now 224 40 660 all of which are still expandable and you've got uh, potentially 2,000 to 3,000 watts of inverter coverage on this depending on which of those bigger packages you go with they are still 0 to 110 degree rated um, they uh, the underbelly you know forced air heated enclosed radiant barrier uh it, heat dumps directly on every single holding tank and heat pads cougars go beyond where most people don't where they don't cougar does basically you've got their hyper deck composite woodless flooring structure which people ask all the time you know why why don't uh keystone why don't they use asdell in their walls well, why don't the Asdell brands use composite floors? You know, so they're they're kind of just doing different things in different places. But the the overall layout of this thing, the the couple's convenience of this, you could put uh, you know some uh, guests in this one if you wanted to, and it's still like just under 30 feet, potentially still half ton towable, topping out at about 8,800 pounds. Um, you know, we've got like over 2,000 pounds of cargo capacity on this. There, this thing is a monster, man, and I could see this being one of the top five Cougars, not just trailers but period by next year this time next year i'm calling it right now let's see how it plays out and let's get in there and there's just there's something about this model i really like uh like i said when this video first began i've been very sweet on the 22 mls cougar for several years in a row this one's a little bit bigger it's a little bit heavier and it's a little bit more expensive but it is really threatening to kind of maybe overtake that top slot for my personal preference the way that i like to camp and the things i look for in a couple's model the the overall storage and the counter space in this is fantastic and i've been doing this for a long time i've seen people trade in rvs for just a whole host of reasons but never because uh, the RV had too much counter space and too much storage. That's just not something that you typically uh, are going to run into here. Uh, something else this one does very well, if you actually sit down here in the theater seat and I put you in the driver's seat, suddenly the window coverage in this becomes excellent. Like from the outside, you don't see massive windows. You're not expecting great, you know, uh, campsite window coverage on this instead of windows only overlooking the poop side of the camper. But when you sit down, you see that this one actually has some really nice views exactly where you want them. And when you sit down, you start to spot things too, like those uh, power outlets and USBs um, located under those overhead cabinets over there, which is important because otherwise you'd look at this kitchen and be like, well, it's nice, but there's absolutely no place to plug anything in, so that's stupid, you know? that uh, They don't have that problem here. Now, I'm sitting at the left-hand theater seat. The right one puts you even more directly at the TV, although the TV can pivot. But if I face you straight ahead right here, let's be fair, the TV's up a little bit high. Um, the uh, Some of their fifth wheels, though, they're starting to put in some um, hardware that will actually swing down that TV and bring it uh, down mostly over that window that we're overlooking right now so it's easier to see out of. And it costs a couple bucks, I'm sure. But I'd be kind of curious, would you like to see that same sort of swing down TV mechanism here in their travel trailers? Um, the walls aren't quite as tall, but I don't know. I'm I'm okay with it. Like if that if that came down, I wouldn't be offended by it personally. Um, their uh, their standard booth dinette it does have storage below the benches, although it lacks any sort of um, doors on the side. One of the things they did here that I really love, though, it's easy to miss. Right when you walk in the door, you've got a handy little clutter cutter shoe garage built right into that dinette, and that is so super handy. And if you don't like the uh, the booth style seating. 
Freestanding table and chairs is available. The table actually brackets against the wall, so it kind of leaves the whole RV looking and feeling, I think, bigger. I, I almost kind of prefer the table and chairs in a floor plan like this. Now, working our way up top here, um, this does have a, a standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner. I do believe this is uh, 50 amp, though, with a second air conditioner available. And that air unit has a residential filter system built onto it that you can obviously swap out and, you know, clean up. So if you're in an area that's like super dusty, lots of pollens, things like that, you can help keep the air in your RV, uh, you know, a little more kind of problem-free Hakuna Matata. They've upgraded the cabinetry this year. So the cabinet styles and rails, the box part of the cabinetry, those are still lumber core where it's, you know, real wood screws into actual wood. It does have a sticker wrap on the cabinetry, but frankly, a lot of luxury fifth wheels do at this point. So Cougars really, they're not down below or under anybody. But the uh, the cabinet hardware, the, the handle poles and the uh, the magnet holdbacks, in the, uh, are, those are all enhanced. By the way, they've updated the slide floor this year. <coughs> Pardon me. I don't know what just got me. They've updated the slide floor this year. It's not that marine woven stuff, and they're working on getting the corners not to bacon down. It's actually uh, a little bit cold currently. Uh, despite this being the middle of summer, we had a cold Michiana morning, and that stuff likes to kind of curl up on the corners. When the RV warms up, that kind of annoyance will sort of go away. Now, this is floor flush and carpetless. So uh, a couple of handy features there, but one of the things that allows for, if you want to sub out that theater seat with the population controlling armrest, for a trifold sleeper sofa hide a bed that's uh, a little uh, you know more cuddle compliant, that should be an available option here. And anywhere they could, they put breeze through windows. The lights over here in the slide box actually also have a sliding dimmer switch for them as well. So if you want it to kind of be like a little bit of a dim movie night, or uh, maybe you need to use it as like a little bit of a night light function, like you got a little uh, grandbaby over or something like that, you know that's that's something that this RV potentially uh, could do for you. Now, looking at all the storage here, it's it's awesome. The total storage capacity on this. And it actually has enough cargo carry capacity to be able to use the storage. I've seen a couple RVs that have massive redonkulous quantity of storage, but you can't actually really load it up because you'll exceed the RV's um, cargo capacity and end up like bending your axle or something like that. Not going to be an issue here. Over here in this kitchen, not only a lot of storage, but a larger 22 inch oven as opposed to the smaller 16 inch Easy Bakes. One of the nice things, the 22 obviously you can put bigger stuff in it, but uh, it, it heats far more evenly. So, um, you know, the 16 inch ovens are really kind of susceptible to hot zones, cold zones. Some people put like a pizza stone in the bottom of that to help even that out. It's less of an issue on the 22 inch oven um, in my experience and from what I'm told by various owners and users out there. But that's one of those things where Cougar, they're not trying to be the smallest, lightest RV. They are lighter than some brands. They're not the lightest overall. They're kind of what I call like a lightweight plus or premium. And that's where you see some of those extra larger kind of RV, almost fifth wheel features penetrate down here uh, into their travel trailer segments. And overall, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with it. Now, there's quite a few outlets in this RV that are actually uh, prepped to run off an inverter. Uh, you can kind of spot them if you find an outlet that has a yellow sticker on it, like the one for the uh, living room TV right there. Um, those outlets, uh, if an inverter is added, or if you get the two available larger solar packages that already include a factory inverter, you'll be able to run those things off battery power. Keep in mind, you're going to sap your batteries more quickly uh, when you do it. And Cougar was the uh, really one of the big voices that uh, made the change uh, to get the, the suppliers of the entry doors to put their shades from the bottom up where they used to always go from top down. They were listening to your feedback and they worked on that for a while and they got it to happen. Uh, another one of those uh, kind of nice premium features on this is that in-command kind of Bluetooth touch command system here that uh, a lot of even fifth wheels still don't do. And it's, it's a uh, really handy system. If you want to be able to like keep an eye on your, your, your tank levels, open your awnings or slides or lights or anything like that, you know, just via Bluetooth off your phone. Now you can see how there is a storage medicine uh, cabinet right there. At a glance, if you if I don't get you that extra footage now, you can't necessarily as easily and overtly tell the fact that there is storage behind the medicine cabinet. And I love the space for the wastebasket down below. And since this RV has that vaulted ceiling, I can stand in the shower very easily. It's only six and a half foot on the sidewall, but standing directly in front of the shower head with that vault, ow, 
I don't have any sort of issues on this. It works very, very well. And some of these new Cougars, where they can, they're adopting this very popular bedroom-bathroom interaction where you have a huge additional closet built into it, basically giving you the benefits of a wardrobe slide without the actual wardrobe slide. So this is 50 amp. It is second air capable. So that is always something that we could add and uh, apply for you. Now, some more of those um, inverter prepped outlets over there for your TV hookups. Both sides of the bed have inverter prepped households as well as both USB type A and type C plugs. So if you have some newer smart devices uh, that uh, require more juice or like wireless charge pads, you know, it's going to be uh, far better uh, managing all that. They have stuck with their 70 by 80 king bed here, but you can always shave that down to a true queen. Not a factory option, but if you're going to replace the mattress anyway, you can put a true queen in this and all you have to do is just shave the, uh, the bed decking down under it a little bit and you're good. Um, the front windshield does have a blackout privacy roll-down shade, by the way, so you won't necessarily feel like an ant under a magnifying glass. And using the gas struts to easy lift the bed here, you can see some nice, e like, great storage down below that. Um, the cabinets over the bed, it's nice that it's a full cabinet. It does, uh, they don't necessarily hold themselves open, but just like the kitchen, you may notice how those are soft close hinges, which, I don't know, it seems like makes it a little bit easier, but in reality, it Probably not really any different if I actually had to guess. Now, one thing I thought was kind of interesting here when I was looking through this, like I, I love that big closet, the extra dresser space. A lot of people have looked at a lot of Cougar models and said it's great, but it needs more clothing space in the bedroom. Well, they nailed it. They, they took care of that. With this big blank wall, one of the only questions I have here is why is the TV hookup not located in that area? But I suppose that's a small thing. But the road mode travel access on this is fantastic. So I'm standing up here in the bedroom right now. Obviously, from the bedroom to the bathroom to the entry door, zero questions. So you're napping craptastic right off the bat. But you get back here, and even with a big, full-depth, deep slide, there's still room to walk through the RV without having to tiptoe through the slide or anything like that. So getting back here to that readily accessible refrigerator, you can get to the sink, you can get to all that storage, this thing absolutely crushes travel access. And taking that up a step further, because your dining situation is not located in a slide, there's no question as to whether you can or can't use this thing when you're traveling. So uh, if you're going down the road and you wanna do an overnight stealth mode sleepover, but you wanna like make some dinner or something like that, you can do it in this thing without ever having to open a slide and let people know you're there or trigger some kind of local policies or whatnot. This thing rocks. A plus, A plus travel mode for sure. Now I have been dropping or dodging, not dropping raindrops, dodging raindrops all day. So apologies for this like crazy weird overcast. These look so much better in the sun, but I wanted to give you a look there at the weights and the measures. Let's talk towing for, let's say flatland Southern Michigan, where I'm from. A decent late model tow package half ton should probably handle one like this. You're gonna go through high wind zones. You're gonna go up and down big mountains and elevation changes. You may wanna go three quarter. It's really just gonna depend on the specific truck and how and where you intend to use it really. Now, um, Cougar up here uh, last year, uh, they were standard with a couple big lithium batteries, which was really awesome, but not everybody needed $1,800 of batteries factory standard on every single one of these so they have made the lithium battery package basically optional here uh because there's a lot of people like me i only park camp i don't need mega solar big lithiums and inverters and stuff like that so like the base 220 watt package solar package we're looking at today that's standard that would work great for me i don't need to spend the extra money on that and i would like to save that extra money thank you but um you know those options are still available there for you and notice too oh they're one of the few still using like bigger propane tanks a lot of manufacturers have gone smaller there um this hits like right under that 30 foot mark so still generally speaking state and national park friendly and with the entry door dead in the middle of the awning on a spritzy rainy day like this you're not going to end up getting um you know dribbles in the face every time you come in and out of the rv and with no slides on the campsite of the rv you just get to enjoy all of your patio space pretty much 
uh, you know, w without stuff in the way, those little fold down stable steps technically, but I, I mean, what are, you, what are you gonna do? You know, they're there. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, you've got to be Paul Bunyan to climb in and out of this thing. Right below this little rear corner, we do have a gas grill cooker hooker. That's that white little kind of flag hanging down at the bottom of the screen. The uh, griddle really pulls out of the way so that if you do want to reach past it to get up into Dad's medicine cabinet to grab a barley pop or a bottled water or whatever, you can do so without singeing your arms and things like that. 250 pound roof ladder factory standard on these you don't have to go uh getting on amazon to get a separate telescopic ladder uh with a cougar now the telescopic ladders are cool because they're actually rated for 330 pounds but it is now one more loose object you have to purchase and store in the rv where this one just has a ladder on i'm kind of curious could you leave me a comment which ladder system do you prefer the telescopic removable or the one always on the back there's benefits both ways for sure you know it just kind of depends now um we have four corner power stabilizer jacks on this automatic leveling no longer standard on cougar travel trailers and um uh the, the reason being here there was constant confusion we would have customers come into our stores and uh they look at some of the smaller cougars and they they thought it had auto leveling and there were actually a couple cases where they had never asked the question assumed the smaller ones had auto leveling and then took a smaller cougar home and found out oops it doesn't have auto leveling but now we own it well first of all Bishus has a 72 hour basically no questions asked return policy so actually one of those customers we did back them out of their purchase um everybody else kind of understood after that but cougar wanted to eliminate that confusion so all cougar trailers are now standard power corner push button easy stabilizer jacks on uh the cougars where auto leveling can still apply basically 30 foot and up this is right on the borderline. I don't know if auto leveling is available on this one now that I say that. Um, the, uh, the bigger Cougars do have the option of putting auto leveling on. So that's one of the interesting changes on the trailers. Still keeping with that tankless on-demand water heater, but in my ever going relentless transparency crusade to share the good with the bad you can see that this is a two-headed sewer monster where you have uh you know a bathroom black and gray up front and then a kitchen gray in the back evidently they just weren't able to kind of cross plumb all of that now down here at the ground you have a simple water docking station you have a plug for a portable solar panel uh, whereas up on the roof by default you have minimum 220 watts of solar last year the base package came with a 15 amp controller now it's a 30 and now it's a 220 watt package standard uh, there's also a 440 watt package 660 watt package and all of those can be grown and expanded to different various degrees so by default this is a wicked sweet couples uh kind of park hopper um if uh you do want to do a little bit of boondock off-grid action you can build it that way. She's got some capacity for that, for sure. So I am very curious to know what you think about this new floor plan. I will leave you some links in the video description along with checking pricing and availability, assuming we have one in stock. If we don't contact our team, if our website says there, there's no results found, or that just means that we're sold out or haven't got any yet if this video comes out before they start shipping. Um, Winnebago does a similar floor plan with a walk-through bathroom. Some people like them, some people don't. We've got a couple different options for you. I will leave you a link to that one in the video description as well. And let me know which one you'd prefer to go with and why. And until next time, thanks again for tuning in. Take care, stay safe, have fun. I just got a raindrop right on the lens, everyone. Nice.